Hello and welcome back to the channel guys, so today we're going to be on the vaulting and doing the fanker for the RX 9060 XT Power Color Hellhound card. I am going to be using the 9000X3D and I'm going to be using 32 gigabytes of DDD5. I'm going to have all the specs and everything in the description below for you guys to see. Also, go and check out the other on the vaulting video that I've done. I've tested a few games to show you guys the difference, so go and check that out. And yeah, let's get started with the video. Right guys, to get presented with this screen, you're going to have to press Alt-R. Then after that, go to performance, go to tuning. And you, you are going to see a, basically when you, because we are on default. So if you press custom, you're going to have a little screen popping up, you know, warning you about stuff. You know, if you overclock your GP or something like that, some, you know, basically just warning you. But we're not going to be doing anything here that will harm your GPU. So don't worry about it at all. Uh, press all of these, enable them. And I have my custom fan cover already done and everything. So I saved it here. So I'm just going to open it and proceed with it. And there you go, guys. Literally, it just saved it completely for me. So I do recommend to do this because if you put MSI Afterburner on or GPU tweak, it will erase all of it. So make sure to save your profile so you don't waste your time, basically. You know, I don't want you guys to, to do this and you enable MSI Afterburner or something. Just erases it completely. So just make a profile. It's so simple. And just export it and then just save it under a name that you want to, you know, put it on. Also, uh, the on the vault that I've done, you know, it might not work for your card. You might need to play about with it. You can also lower the power limit even more if you want to. I have just left it on minus 25 just because it was like, you know, I've noticed that I didn't lose that much performance and, you know, I still managed to shave off 45 watts. So, yeah, just play about with it, guys. Literally, like, you know, the same with the on the vault. You might be able to get a better one and more stable one, but do make sure to test it in a few games just to make sure it all works perfectly. Right guys, so when The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, we're seeing literally one to two FPS difference between Underworld and Stark. Uh, we are seeing 45 watt difference. The clocks are lowered by around 200 megahertz. Literally the temperature difference is massive. So we're seeing 10 degrees lower core temperature and we're seeing the eight degree difference on their GPU memory temp. And with Stark and the fan curve, we're seeing, seeing a five degree difference in core and four degree in their memory temp. So guys, it's a massive difference you know for just doing a simple fan curve literally just it literally took me two seconds to do it. i pulled it up a little bit leveled it so it doesn't keep ramping up and down and look at the temperature difference it's literally five degrees on the core and four on the memory temp you know just just some do it now and the on the vault just helps to get the rpms down a little bit and the temperatures down even more and literally we're losing one fps if that guys so it's not even that big of a difference in performance and you know you're pulling less power the card's less noisy and to be fair as well i have listened to the sound test and it sounds louder than it really is in real life i could not even hear this pc with any of these so even with stock it was really really quiet so i don't know it just sounds louder than it is trust me like you, i can literally not hear this pc so i wouldn't really worry about that sound test too much because yeah it's really quiet guys literally right so we at the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have please smash the like button drop a comment please drop a sub as well and i tried to make this video you know simple and short i don't want to make it too long i just wanted for you guys to watch the whole video and you know just be able to follow along and just you know see the difference between on the vault with the fan curve and the stock so yeah that's basically what th this was the aim of the video all right guys i'm signing off see you guys in the next one thank you for watching